hi guys welcome back to my channel first things I want to get out the way are the uh, color pop order that I put in I received it on Monday today is Wednesday so today I had a little bit of time so I wanted to go ahead and talk about those along with something else that's uh, a major topic on, on here on YouTube. In the video that I talk about the three liquid lipsticks, I sounded so depressed in that video. It's just I was very disappointed in the liquid lipsticks because I really wanted to love them but it, I just feel like they're okay. So anyway, the two ones that I said I got was Clueless and LAX. And those are the colors. Clueless at the top, LAX at the bottom of course so yeah so I swatched LAX and the first swatch I swatched it it was like amazing like fall like perfect fall vampy color I love it so I swatched it and there that is and you know ColourPop look lipsticks don't take long to dry they don't I don't know why the formula is different from all the rest of them but this one by far is the only one that I can apply a second layer to and it be perfect. It'd be perfect. Oh yeah, and then the color at the top is uh clueless. And like I said, all of these are really pigmented. It would be great if it was just a, if it was a thin formula, but I can apply more layers. Like LAX. LAX it's a LAX is a thin formula, but I can apply more layers to it. So I, this is great. This is what I love. So that one, I was excited about getting that one. And then I went ahead and got this one. This is just like your, your typical mid-tone pink color. It's not nothing really special. But this one is clueless. And you're not going to be able to see it, but just trust me, this is clueless. Eyeshadow and coconut. Now I do have other eyeshadows from ColourPop. Um, I believe I have Liberty, uh, the color meow. I believe that was limited edition that meow color because I don't see it anywhere on the side anymore Which is which is such sad because I like meow. <laughs> I love that color um, But if you want a dupe of meow because it is limited edition uh, liquid diamonds from L'Oreal L'Oreal's infallible. Yeah, those two are straight-up dupes for each other If you want to see them swatched side by side I'll probably link it down below so it'll be easier for you guys to find and it's just my first color pop haul Oh my god, like my camera does not do this justice at all, but like it flashes It's like a deep blue, but in certain lights it has like it looks like it has like pink or purple glitters in it and it just has like certain lights as teals. It's just all around beautiful. And it's a pearlized finish. And again, this is color coconut. And here is what it looks like on my hand. Oh my God, guys, you see this? I don't even know what to do with myself. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. And this is a pearlized finish. Like, God, you guys, I cannot wait to use this color. I cannot wait to use it. I cannot wait to use that color and I found this video this YouTube video of a girl using it and oh my god like she turned it into like a blue smoky eye which is exactly what I'm gonna do but hers is like amazing like just look up coconut eyeshadow smoky eye you're gonna find her you're gonna know who I'm talking about I ain't got to say no more like she like it was like the star of the show on her look and I'm like Yes, yes. Thank you, girl. Yes, yes. Let me get on to the real business. The business, okay? So my girl calls me. Ring, ring. Girl, you wanna go on a road trip? Yes, yes. My life is boring. I need to go on a road trip. Let's go. So anyway, she picks me up. We go on a road trip to Indiana. So in my mind, I'm thinking Indiana is just nothing but a farmland. Nothing but trees and fields and chickens and cows and shit. So we get there and it's like we're at this mall and it's like huge, huge mall. And um, it has all kinds of stores and then like uh, stores I never heard of. And like so we go in it and there's a Mac store in the mall. And I'm like, girl, you already know I need to stop in here. Before we leave, we're going in here. We're going. <laughs> okay. So I was like, so she's like, okay. So we went everywhere else. We went to Sunglasses Hut. I'm like, we there was a lush store in that mall like 
you know, I got me some lush stuff. So, <laughs> yeah. So I went up in there. And like, right when we were done and we were about to leave, I almost forgot that I wanted to go to MAC and I wanted to pick up a couple things. I wanted, like, two blush, two more blushes. And then I know I wanted four lip liners. I wanted Sun Bask and Warm So. And then my four lip liners. I wanted Stone, Whirl, uh, Cherry, and Ruby Woo. Because I don't have any red lip liners. So I needed, I wanted those two red ones. And then the Stone and the Whirl. And yeah. Because I had like, uh, my friend, she wanted two lip liners. She wanted Strip, a one called Strip, 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 strip. Strip something. I'm gonna put it like right here where she wanted. Whatever. So she just wanted a uh, stone in that strip color. And get there. We're swatching stuff. We're swatching up stuff. My friends on one side, you know, swatching up stuff. I'm on the other side swatching up stuff. My friend. I hear my friend arguing with a Mac employee. Apparently, when my friend came over to me, she's like, "Beverly, really? We gotta leave out of here. This bitch is crazy." And I'm like, "What happened?" She's like, look, all I was doing was swatching shit on my hand. She gonna snatch the shit out of my hand talking about I can't swatch it on my hand. I gotta swatch it on a napkin. What? What? The, what the stuff? Th look, <laughs> I went to the lady and I was like, miss, you're telling me that my friend can't swatch shit on her hand when, come on, you got the shit out here for us to swatch and we can't swatch it on our, we can't, we can't swatch it on us to see what it looked like on us, on our skin. My friend was praying, she was playing the race car because the Mac employee was white. I'm mixed and my friend is, is African American and she was playing that race car hard. I was trying to be on my friend's side because she's my friend, but she was playing hard. She was like, look, I, I can't, look, like, she don't want me to swatch it on my skin because I'm black. Girl, <laughs> don't jump to the race car. I already talked to her about this and she watched my videos, so I already talked to her about this. I was like, girl, don't play the race car, okay? Until you really know what's up. Okay, I didn't see anything racist to me. So, I mean, I told her, don't do that. Don't do it just yet. She was like, all right, all right, all right. <sighs> anyway, that whole situation calmed down for a second. But my friend went back over there. And <laughs> she went back over there, kept swatching stuff on her hand. The Mac employee calls out the manager to me and said that I was being disruptive and that I needed to leave the store. What? Now you guys, what the heck did I do? All I did was say, look, miss, <laughs> you have the stuff out here for us to swatch and we can't swatch it on us to see what it looked like on us, on our skin. That's what I said. And she called the manager out on me and the manager said, did you say this? Did you say this? And I said, yeah. Well, you're not allowed to swatch it on you. We have things that you can swatch on. Um, if you want a piece of paper, if you want a napkin, you can swatch it on a napkin, but you cannot swatch it on you. I didn't know. I did not know that, okay? So you cannot fault me for something I did not know. And that's exactly what I told the manager. How are you going to fault me for something I didn't know? I didn't know you couldn't swatch it on you. I thought, like, it, everybody can swatch it on, on him. Like, come on. Like, I, I just got done seeing a lady that came in before me, and she was in there, and she was over here putting a whole lipstick on her. On her. You know, not on a piece of paper or on a napkin. She was putting it on her. So how are you going to tell me I can't swatch it on me? That's when I knew something was up. It was like, what the fuck is going on here? So anyway, I let all that go. I was like, fine. Okay, I will leave. But can I please just buy my products? The manager said, yeah, you can buy your products. Okay, I was like, okay. Well, the way the Mac store is, it's like registers, like one register over here, one register over there. It's not really a big store. It's kind of small. It's inside of a mall. So it's not that big is what I'm trying to say. It's not that big. So anyway, she's on one side. I'm on the other side. So, uh... Yeah, while the lady's ringing up my stuff, there's like like eyeshadows and stuff like on the counter, like uh, at checkout, and um, they're like really miniature and they're so cute. And I'm like, oh my god, look at these little things! And I pick it up. I'm like, oh my god, look at these little things! She snatches it away from me. I it, it took me so off guard, and I was so shocked about it. I didn't even know what happened. <laughs> I, like I was looking at it. one minute, I'm looking at it, and the next minute, she's snatching it out of my hand. Like, I was looking at that. She was like, no, you cannot touch this. If you touch it, you're going to mess it up. Huh? How did you know I wasn't going to buy that shit? 
how did you know how do you know i wasn't gonna buy that right now like if i really liked it i probably would have bought it too but i didn't even get a good look at it because she snatched it out of my hand i was like I try to let it go the first time with my friend i try to let it go when you call the manager out of it. and this time i'm not letting the shit go okay this time this is just one too many times okay all i was doing was looking at the shit manager right on the side of her talking about like ma'am you need to calm down we're, we're ringing up your stuff you're gonna get your stuff and you're, you're gonna and then i'm gonna need you to leave I'm okay as soon as i get my stuff i am gonna leave and she's like you cannot be touching that stuff because we have it in a specific order in a specific way and if you touch it you will mess it up they thought i was gonna open it i wasn't opening it i was just it was like uh an eyeshadow pigment or whatever i wasn't opening it i was just looking at it i told him i told him i wasn't gonna open it i was just looking at it they was like well you can't do that you have to look with your eyes not your hands she said i had to look with my eyes and not my hands i was like you know what i don't even want nothing no more i don't even want nothing take this shit back i don't want it y'all want, want some bullshit today goodbye and, and we left oh my god that was the very first time I've ever went into a store and got so disrespected. And then I, my friend got disrespected. That was the very first time that's ever happened to me. Now, I've been to a Mac store before. And the first, my very first Mac store, like, it was great. I mean, like, it was okay. I mean, as soon as I get in there, they're asking me. They're very nice. They're like, hi, um, do you know everything that you want? Do you, uh, what, do, you, do you need help with anything? They're nice. But this one was like oh my god like i've never been so disrespected in a store ever and this happened today by the way and today's wednesday like i said but then my friend said you know what this ain't nothing new Beverly. this ain't nothing new and i'm gonna tell you why because if you search youtube mac stores all you're gonna find all you're gonna find on there are ups like people that are outraged with mac store <laughs> what what are you talking about so like this happens on the regular like this happens to every, like all the time every mac store are you kidding me i mean like i know it's not every mac store it can't be because the, the first one i went to wasn't like that but and then i had came in i came home and i looked at the videos and i'm like wow are you kidding me especially and one out of all the videos like really was the worst Matt didn't want to help her because she was Asian. I don't remember what it was exactly called, but I'm going to put it right here because everything I can't remember is going to be right here. And um, yeah, how could they be like that? How she's a customer and you're not going to help her because she's Asian? I couldn't believe it. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just look it up. Just look up Mac. Uh, again, that title will be right here. Just look that up. Uh, or I'll put it down in the description, but I could not believe that. And now you guys know my story. And I do love MAC products. I have a ton of MAC products. MAC products are my favorite high-end products. They're the only high-end lipsticks that I own. I love MAC, but the stores, it just seems like, what's going on? Who are they hiring? Why are these people, these people have no customer service skills or or anything and for me like at this moment the way i feel is that mac store shouldn't exist it should only just be an online store like ColourPop. ColourPop stores don't exist but the color pop is online maybe mac should just think about that and just cancel all the fucking stores because there's too many people on youtube complaining about mac stores and i found that out when i got home <sighs> i couldn't believe it but if you guys don't believe me about the Mac stores, put in in the search and YouTube search Mac stores. And all you're going to see, just like I saw, was people complaining about the customer service in the Mac stores. Online and over the phone is great. But it just seems like the stores. You just hire anyone and you can't do that, Mac. You can't just hire anyone off the fucking street and think that they have customer service skills. No, no. So anyway, that's my video for today. And I will see you guys in my next video, which uh, is going to be a big one. <laughs> so it's going to be in a series. Please subscribe if you haven't. 
and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!